it's the back, the face, the arms, everywhere. Beachgoers have been saying that a lot lately, covered in bites and a mystery insect could be to blame. Experts with Collier County Mosquito Control District say they've sent off samples for testing. After a spike in calls over the weekend, a lot of people claiming they're itching like crazy after spending time at these local beaches. Four in your corner is Jillian Idol live on one of the beaches right now for such a beautiful sunset, but an ugly problem for a lot of visitors to the beach right now. Jillian? <laughs> Well, that's right, Patrick. Now, there's still plenty of people here enjoying the beach, but lots of people we've talked to today are grabbing for bug spray. However, after talking to experts, they say if it's what they believe it is, this isn't going to work. Oh, right I'm now, getting so. bit right now. Beachgoers seeking sunshine, finding it difficult to sit still. It seems the type of bug is taking a bite out of their beach time. There were a lot of people out there sitting, and I'm thinking, am I the only one that's that's getting bit like this. Collier Mosquito Control got several calls over the weekend wondering what's causing these swarms and what can be done about them. While sand flies or no CMs are common this time of year. Most of mine, I think, were in my hair. And I thought maybe I had walked underneath a tree or something, got some, got some bugs in my hair. Experts believe another insect could be to blame. One commonly known as black flies, but also referred to as turkey gnats or buffalo gnats. They range in size from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and are common in areas with lots of rainfall. Went up here to the restaurant mm -hmm. and they had they were trying out some citronella oil okay. mixed with lemongrass oil, and so I smell like a citronella candle. Unfortunately, biologists say if testing proves they are black flies, bug sprays won't do the trick. That means soaking up sun on the sand will require a small sacrifice. We're going to be here for another six weeks, so we can always come back and hope they're gone. Yeah. Now, the Collier Mosquito Control District tells us it could be a while before they receive those testing results back because identifying the species of this insect can be extremely difficult. In the meantime, though, they do suggest to avoid the beaches at dusk and dawn. In Naples, Jillian Idol, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Jillian. The